Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Renaissance Rewards Extra is the checking account that checks all the boxes. Roadside assistance? Check. Cell phone insurance? Check. More than 400,000 local shopping discounts? Check. Up to $25 per month in ATM refunds and a great rate? Check. All in an easy-to-use mobile app. To open an account or find out more about Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking, go to renaissancebank.com or visit us at any of our more than 190 locations throughout the South. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi. 101.9 FM. I'm Adam Gore. I'm the Sports Information Director and dir uh, Director of Media Relations here at ICC. You think I've said that enough, I wouldn't stumble over it. But I want to say thanks for joining us for today's show. And as always, the ICC Hour is being presented to you by the Renaissance Bank. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the Renaissance mobile app. Now, on this week's show, we'll be joined by Taylor Tudor and Jordan Smith. Both are recruiters here at ICC. We're going to learn more about the coffee convos our recruiting department is hosting through our five-county district area. Now, this is being uh, to help our high school seniors with things like admissions, scholarships, housings, basically any questions they may have about joining the ICC family. Taylor and Jordan will be there to help through these coffee convos. Now, they've already had two stops, one in Tupelo and another in Pontotoc, and you'll hear in, later on in the show how big of a success they've been. So, And if you're interested um, in future stops, here, here's those lists. So I'll give you a second to uh, gather up a pencil or paper or pen or get your phone. If you're driving, don't get your phone. Hold on to that uh, to give you those stops. And uh, right now, they are at the Tupelo River Coffee and it will run to the end of this show. So uh, if you're in that area, Tupelo River Coffee, go by, uh, grab a cup of coffee, tell Taylor and Jordan hi, and you heard about them on the show here. Uh, the next stop will be the Grounds Coffee Shop on the Fulton campus of ICC on January the 26th, uh, Blacksmith Barbecue in Pontotoc on January the 28th, the Coffee Pot in Amory on February the 2nd, and Gather Coffee and Brew in Houston on February the 9th. The time for all those dates are from noon to 2 p.m. Now, if you happen to miss any of those dates, please visit iccms.edu. That's iccms.edu. Or you can call Taylor at 862-8281. That's 862-8281 for more information. Now, you do need a link to sign up. So they'll kind of have a little bit of background information uh, on you and what you're looking to do there. Uh, so if, you, if you're a student or you're a parent of a student, if they have made their email address available for alerts and updates, then they'll get that email. But if not, uh, the counselor or career coaches at their high schools will also have a link to sign up. So we do encourage you to reach out to get signed up. Or once again, uh, call Taylor, 862-8281, uh, if you want to find out how you need to get signed up there. Now, on last week's show, we talked with our volleyball and basketball coaches about their upcoming seasons, which, by the way, are scheduled to start on this Thursday with basketball hosting and traveling to Mississippi Delta. And on Saturday, when the volleyball team, I believe, is playing a tri-match out at Sneed State uh, on Saturday. Now, if you happen to miss those interviews with those coaches last week or any of the previous shows, as a matter of fact, you can go back and watch them on YouTube simply by searching The ICC Hour, all three of those words, The ICC Hour. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're there. Or you can visit the on-demand section of Let's Go ICCTV.com. That's Let's Go ICCTV.com. Uh, now, this week, we're going to talk to the players about their upcoming seasons for basketball and volleyball, and we'll get to learn a little bit more about the teams. Now, 
If you want to learn more, find about find out about the most recent schedules and see the rosters, all that good stuff about the upcoming seasons, we do encourage you to visit letsgoicc.com. Visit it often because schedules are likely to change a good bit with the uh, the way the world is today. So let's go icc.com for all your ICC athletic information. Now, before we get to the show, I hope you don't mind me taking a few moments for something non-ICC related. Uh, this past week or weekend, uh, the North Mississippi area lost a legend, uh, really an icon, and longtime WTVA meteorologist, Mr. Dick Rice. Uh, before coming to ICC, I worked in television and did a lot of freelance work, and WTVA was one of those media outlets that I consistently got work with. So I had the opportunity to meet Mr. Rice on numerous occasions. Now, after getting to know him a little bit, I would always joke with him about uh, when I heard his voice, I instantly thought of mashed potatoes and English peas, and he kind of looked at me funny. But the reason of that was because he was always on TV when me and my family would sit down for supper. Now, this is something that would be commonly brought up uh, when we saw each other, and he would always ask about my family, but it wasn't just like, you know, saying, oh, hey, how's the family? You know, not, not like a passing conversation, but he genuinely took interest in getting to know me and would always leave me with some form of encouragement because I, I'll be honest with you, it was almost as if he had a seventh sense of knowing when someone needed some kindness, you know, um, uh, I can go on, you know, I didn't, uh, we lost touch over the years, over the past five or six years. Uh, but the person that so many people grew up with, saw on television, that was exactly who he was off screen. And, and quite honestly, maybe one of the most genuine people I've had the opportunity to meet. So um, if you have Facebook, I, I encourage you to check his page and, and to see the outpouring of love and respect that so many people has left in comments and messages uh, for him. You know, it's, it's, it's honestly pretty awesome to see. When we come back, Taylor Tudor and Jordan Smith will join the ICC Hour to talk about the coffee combos coming up to a coffee shop or restaurant near you. Back with more right after this. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what we anticipate, what we work for, what we want to improve. At Itawamba Community College, we offer the courses, pathways, and the training that can help turn your vision of tomorrow into a reality. So why wait? Your tomorrow can start today at Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Five dollars for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. Ooh, fumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. That's home. <laughs> that's just like the Ravens. That's just like Pahokee, Florida. Um, that's my second home. I got my degree from there, my first degree, college degree. It's part of my heart, it's part of my soul, it's part of my spirit. And, you know, it's everything. It, it the Community College, baby, uh, it's, it's everything. It shaped me up to being a great man because it was part of the journey of me becoming the young man I am today. And um, it's home, man. That, that's. That's it, like, I can go there and lay my head down without no problems. It'll woman community college, the best star here. And welcome back to the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi, 101.9 FM. As always, the ICC Hour being brought to you by our friends at Renaissance Bank. Renaissance Bank, the bank that understands you, renaissancebank.com. 
Well, we got two of my favorite people on campus. Two of the hardest working people on campus as well. Taylor, Jordan, two of our recruiters here at ICC. Guys, how's it going today? It's going good. How are you? Good, I, good. I don't know about those compliments there. Yeah. Hardest working people on campus. I, I like I that. Know about that. Well, <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you guys are having to get out and hustle in a very unique world now to uh, meet some kids and meet some needs to let them know about ICC. You guys have a very unique uh thing going on right now uh tell us about the uh coffee combo so coffee combo is a way for us to reach students that um, we're not allowed to go into their high school so we're meeting them where they are and come into a town that they go to school in in their area and setting up at a coffee shop or a restaurant to meet with them one-on-one -on -one for about 15 minutes and get them applied for everything they need to apply for and make sure they have everything taken care of now, you're in the early stages of getting this going now that we're back in the semester. Jordan, how's it gone so far? I think it's gone great. We've completed, at this point, one in Lee County. Uh, we used Tupelo River Coffee there downtown in Tupelo. Had a good turnout for that. That was kind of our pilot group that we used before Christmas. Tried to, you know, work out the kinks and how exactly it was going to work. So then this past week, we actually just completed one um, in Pontotoc County. And every time slot we had available was actually full for that. Oh, so. Awesome. Um, if you're sitting there and, you, and you're, this is something you want to be involved in, when we send those links out to your email or through text messaging, maybe a counselor says something to you about it, you want to make sure and, and get signed up for that quickly because the slots are filling up for us. Well, that answered my next question. How do you get involved with that? But say uh, you're, at a, you're at a high school and you hadn't heard about it yet, they can still reach out to their counselor and find out more information? Yeah, so we send um, a, a Sign Up Genius link for them to sign up to their personal emails. They'll also get texts from us as well, but we are sending it out to the counselor so that they're aware and they can help students sign up for that as well. And then any of their career coaches will also have the link and can help them sign up. All right, so is this just for the student? Can their parent come along or... How does that work? Well, we want to treat it as a, a situation where we can help anybody that needs the help. If, if your parent wants to come along and get the information, please bring them on. Um, we're doing this, you know, from typically 12 to 2 is kind of the time slot, so it allows the students to get out of school. If the parents want to come on lunch break, they can do that as well. Um, Whoever is helping you make those college decisions and working through that process, I would advise you to, to bring them on with you as well. Bring some friends or, or whatever you want to do, we can, we can work through it. Well, what can they expect when they attend this event? Well, one thing we forgot to mention is, is we do buy co coffee for them, nice. or um, the one at Pontotoc, we had at Blacksmith, so we let them, uh, any drink they wanted, we bought that, so it's kind of, you know, the idea behind coffee combos, mm -hmm. cup of coffee and have a conversation about ICC. Um, but they can expect that to meet with one of us one-on-one, -on -one, um, apply for school if they haven't, you know, apply for scholarships, activate their emails, apply for housing, all that good stuff. And then we go through our lookbook with them and go through all the information that you would get on a tour too. Um, so definitely do that and of course always schedule a tour with us. If they want to schedule a tour, how do they do that? Yeah, so you can um, email one of us if you have our email or tours.iccms.edu and then you can pick a time slot there. Talk about, uh, Jordan, why this is important to adapt to the current situations, to go where the students are. Well, so we've really had to revamp a lot of the things we do on the recruiting side. and It really originated with a conversation we had, I think it started in my office back around Thanksgiving, where there was really some frustrations among the recruiting staff because we were not able to get into the high schools the way we used to be able to. And we know there's students out there that still need help, but they're not always able to come here to Fulton or come to the Tupelo campus and get that help. So the conversation went in the direction of what can we do to meet them where they're at and try to help them out. So we started talking about where we could have some events like that at, where we could keep the numbers low, we could still you know follow the CDC guidelines, but you know have fun and help people out. So this kind of came around. It was something that we'd heard of some other schools doing. We tried to throw our own little twist on that as well. So just trying to continue to, to help students the way we always have here at ICC. But in the midst of this pandemic, things are different. We're having to look at different ways of going about things, and, and we settled on this. And so far, two sessions in, you know, with, with several more upcoming, we're going to hit every county in the district. We're, we're going everywhere at least once. Um, we were so busy at Pontotoc last week, we've already scheduled another date there. Awesome. So um, whatever the demand is, we're, we're going to meet that and, and try to continue to help students the best we can. Now, uh, let's just talk about the most recent, not most, most recent, but the ones that are coming up 
soon. I know you've got a full list of where you guys are going, but where are going to be some of the next stops? Right. So um, we're hitting on. I'm, I'm going to pull up my calendar here yeah, so I got free. the dates. Yeah. Just a, absolutely correct for us. We will be in Lee County at Tupelo River on the 19th. So all, most all of this is going to be on Tuesday, with a couple of exceptions. But Tuesday the 19th will be in Lee County at Tupelo River. Um, the next week, the 26th, we'll be here in Itawamba County, and we're going to host that in the bookstore coffee shop here at the grounds. Okay. And we're going to host that there for everybody from Itawamba County. And then that next date in Pontotoc County is going to be the lone Thursday on the schedule right now. It's the 28th on that Thursday there at, back at Blacksmith in Pontotoc. So that's kind of up next on the calendar. There are dates set, though, uh, for Monroe County and Chickasaw County as well. So awesome. everybody in the five-county district, we are going to get there. We're going to see you. Now, there may be a listener right now that owns a coffee shop, maybe a restaurant, Not like you said, not necessarily mm -hmm. just say into a coffee shop. What if they want to be involved and help you guys? How can they reach out to y'all? Yes, yeah, so they can contact me or Jordan um, by email, by phone, however they want to reach us. Um, and we would love to come out and schedule as many as we can. We appreciate the businesses that have already let us um, join them and um, host students there since we're not allowed to go into the high schools like we used to. So, yeah, we really appreciate that, and we're open to any business um, reaching out to us. Absolutely. And then before I let y'all go, I always got to put this pitch out there. How can they get up with y'all? How can they schedule tours? If they can't make it to a coffee combo, if they can't make it to campus, how can they still reach out and get some help? Well, I would point out one um, on Instagram for social media, go the number two ICC is our handle and you can find mine and Jordan's email and our phone numbers there so you can get the contact information there and of course our website you can find all the information to reach us there as well so reaching out to us and then of course scheduling a tour and if you want to call the office uh, Miss Candace would love to answer the phone and she'll get your information to us or forward your call to us her number is 662-862-8290 and uh, that will get to us and we'll help you out but again this is we're open to growing this if it's just one student somewhere that needs help and we need to come to them they can't get to us, we're, we're more than happy to do that. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers. 24-7 roadside assistance. A cell phone protection plan worth up to $400. $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle. And a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. Today tastes like game day at home. Like assigned couch seating. <laughs> tastes like coffee table dining. And an ice cold Coke to cool down the heat. It tastes like the game you've waited for all week with friends you've known your whole life. <laughs> today tastes like watching football is supposed to and it never tasted this good. <laughs> Coca-Cola, together tastes better. Hey, Pam, what's that? New slices and sticks. Half pizza, half Italian cheese sticks. What's that? Ah, it's butter butterhub. 
An unexpected combination. Just six bucks. Acres away! Pizza, pizza. Introducing slices and sticks. Four slices of pepperoni pizza together with eight Italian cheese sticks. A combination as unexpected as the Saxa Telephone. Hey, Mom. New slices and sticks. Just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what we anticipate, what we work for, what we want to improve. At Itawamba Community College, we offer the courses, pathways, and the training that can help turn your vision of tomorrow into a reality. So why wait? Your tomorrow can start today at Itawamba Community College. The best start here. I use ice cream as kind of for medicinal purposes, you know. It just puts me in a good mood. This would be so good for dinner. Very crispy. Spicy. spicy. A little tangy. El crunch. La, el crunch. <laughs> There's a lot of bacon on this thing. It's just oozing. Delicious. I just want dessert. <laughs> Give me some. Very indulgent. Now, this is delicious. <laughs> Shaky goodness. It's a nice crunch. Oh, that's dangerous. What about the tots? Tots are everything. <laughs> I'm Tanya Cox and I am one of the instructors in the Computer Programming Technology two-year degree program located on the Tupelo campus. I've been a faculty member at ICC for 34 years. Students learn problem solving and logical skills that are needed to design, code, and test software applications. This program typically begins in the fall. However, some of our students can enroll in spring semester, but it is a two-year degree technical program. We go in and uh, we offer a variety of programming and scripting classes, as well as web and mobile application, database manipulation, hardware, and security concepts. Our mode of delivery for our courses most of our courses are taught in the traditional classroom. However, some of our courses in the first semester are offered traditionally and online as well. My name is Doris McCreary. I've been an instructor in the computer programming department for 26 years. The graduates in this program uh, can get jobs from anything from computer operator, data entry. They can also get uh, jobs doing system administration with a little bit of experience in the area. Uh, some of ours have gone on to be IT, have IT leadership positions as well as working with system security. The graduates start out anywhere from 33 to 46,000. Um, of course, if you've had a little bit of experience in the, in the area, then you might start at a higher rate and then with a few years of experience, you can go up very quickly. We look for students that have logical thinking ability. Uh, computer programming is all about logic, figuring out sequencing and how things should be done and in what order. We also like problem solvers, those that can go in and analyze a problem and organize it and break it down into individual tasks, and those that have just basic computer skills also is a benefit. I am Delina Huckel, and I have been with ICC 21 years. I teach in the computer programming department at ICC. We have CPNA, which stands for Computer Programming Networking Association. We have monthly meetings, and we participate in campus activities and community service projects. Um, also, we have um, guest speakers that come to our meetings um, from industry, and they talk about career opportunities, job responsibilities, and also internship opportunities. Uh, we have local and non-local opportunities for our students. It's in the fields of banking, healthcare, manufacturing, uh, small businesses, utilities, and also just in education. We are an open admission program, computer program technology, so all the student would need to do is go through the regular process of applying to ICC, submit that online application, and then choose computer programming technology as their major. Welcome back to the ICC Hour presented by the bank that understands you. That's Renaissance Bank. Visit renaissancebank.com 
To learn more about their outstanding student checking options and their awards extra checking accounts as well. Not only that, but go by and visit RenaissanceNation.com. They have a lot of great, uh, informative, and entertaining videos, even if they do pit, poke a little fun uh, at my Fighting Irish. But it just reflects what makes Renaissance Bank such a great bank. Um, they get it. Or as they say, or as their slogan says, they understand you, the customer, and your needs. So again, thanks to Renaissance Bank for uh, their support of making the ICC Hour possible here on Super Talk Mississippi. Now, earlier in the show, we mentioned getting to know more about our volleyball and basketball teams. Last week, we talked to the coaches. This week, we're going to talk to a couple of players from each team. So let's start with volleyball. Uh, they'll start their first ever season here at ICC on Saturday when they travel to Sneed State for a tri-match. They'll take on Bevel State at 1 o'clock, and then they'll play host Sneed State at 3 o'clock. Uh, Again, we encourage you to visit letsgoicc.com to learn more about the volleyball team, uh, but not until after we talk with freshman Maya Newsom and Mary Leslie Cranford, who, by the way, likes to go by ML, about the upcoming season and more here on the ICC Hour. All right, Maya, start of the season uh, just around the corner. Uh, just talk about the excitement of getting the uh, actual season started. We are very excited. We were supposed to start in the fall, but... You know, that was taken away from us. We did uh, play some scrimmages, but we're just looking forward for a regular season. Well, the jump from high school to college is always big. So what did you learn during the fall that kind of is getting you ready for this season? Well, in the fall, we learned a lot. Um, it's definitely a big jump from high school to college. It's many more things. Like, you learn the basics, and then once you get to college, it's like strategy. So we've learned a lot more strategy and, like, basically fixing the little things that just makes it better overall. Well, y'all had a lot of success during the fall. Only lost one match, and it was a hard-fault match, I think 3-2, uh, to uh, William Carey, which is up a level. Yeah. So you got a lot of confidence. So how are you going to build on that confidence to uh, carry on and have a successful inaugural season here at ICC? Well, I will say that was our very first match, and uh, I think it'll be way better second time around. We are more confident and better – chemistry within the team so all right and how does it feel knowing that you and the rest of the girls are making history and setting the bar of expectations for ICC volleyball it feels very good especially like knowing that this is the history we're making we're going to make it good and we hope that the rest of the years everyone will follow now one thing I've talked to other teams about and it's just what we got to talk about COVID uh, unfortunately, it's part of the world now. Uh, what are y'all doing to kind of hold each other accountable and stay safe and uh, healthy this season? We are definitely taking many precautions, wearing our mask wherever we go. Even when we got here, we had the quarantine. We're not even able to travel home right now. Just staying together and staying COVID-free so that we can have a good, smooth season. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. All right, ML, start of the season. It's, it's around the corner for y'all. Just talk about how excited you are and the rest of the team is right now. I think we're all really excited. We've had a setback from our season getting pushed from the fall to the spring. So that's definitely been an adjustment having our off season being in the fall. But we've been working really hard and we're really excited to hopefully have a semi-normal season this spring. Now I know you guys had a very successful fall. So you as a player, what was the biggest thing you learned during the fall coming from high school to college in that transition? The biggest thing for me personally with my transition is in high school I always was a very hard hitter. I always was a hitter growing up because I was always tall. But once I got to college, the block was bigger, the defenders were better. It's just all about being strategic and hitting your shots and changing up between like line, cross, cut shot, just not just hitting hard but playing smart. And now we talked about it with Maya. Um, it's got to be exciting knowing y'all are making history. The first ever team here at ICC, and you're setting the bar for the future as well. Just talk about, just thinking about that, that you guys are the first team ever. 
Yeah. I think it's really cool to be leaving a legacy here. That's a big thing we talk about with ICC Volleyball is leaving our legacy. And I think what's so big about our team is that our character is what stands out so well. Like Coach Priscilla has picked a great group of girls. We're all strong leaders. We lead well on the court. And we're really excited to be leaving a legacy behind. And we hope that teams to follow are as successful as we've been. Now talk about that. And I didn't think about this uh, earlier in the interview, but you all were all-stars at your own high school, but now you're a collection of all-stars. How is that transition of getting used to playing with those teammates that you may have not played with before, how is that going? I have a little different take on that because I'm from Tennessee. So I didn't, a lot of the girls have played together before on the all-star matches or through club volleyball, but I came in and hadn't played with any of them. But the connection with the girls that have played together was kind of already there. So the two or three or four that have come in that hadn't had that history with them, it's been very easy to like grow a team chemistry very fast. Like this is one of the teams that I've been on that has the most chemistry in the shortest amount of time. And now, of course, we talk about it, and I hate to talk about it because it gets talked about so much, but COVID being a big issue this year. What are, what are you doing, what is the team doing to kind of just stay healthy, stay safe, and try to get through this season? We're taking a lot of precautions. We're doing the best we can. We were all COVID tested when we came back for the spring. We're staying on campus. We're keeping kind of like coach calls at our bubble. We're keeping our bubble very small, staying to our own and just wearing our mask and remembering the end goal because I know missing out on fun things and, you know, going home to your family may be hard right now, but like for the end goal, having a good season, getting a season at all is really what we're trying towards. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, we're excited for our season. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you. Basketball tips off this Thursday against Mississippi Delta. There will be a very unique schedule for basketball teams this season uh, as they're playing a split mirrored schedule. Now, you may be listening and saying, Gore, what the heck are you talking about? Well, traditionally, on the JUCO level, basketball would play a home and away doubleheader with both teams playing at the same location on the same night. But that's not the case this season. To try to help cut down on the spread of COVID, the presidents of the association, uh, they all voted for the split mirrored schedule, which simply means when one team is at home, the other will be on the road against the same team. So this Thursday night, the men will host Mississippi Delta at 530 in the Davis Event Center, and the women will travel to Moorhead to take on Mississippi Delta at 6 o'clock. Now, the men's game will be available on Let's Go ICCTV.com, the red channel, and we'll have some more updates on the women's game on Let's Go ICC.com and our social media outlets. Just uh, simply search Let's Go ICC, and we'll let you know more about the women's game as we get closer to Thursday. Now, with all that said, we had a chance to catch up with sophomores on this year's team. First up for the Lady Indians will be Zaire Burgess and Scarlett Guest, and then for the Indians will be Roe Pendleton and Brandon Brown. So let's catch those interviews now here on the ICC Hour. All right, Zaire, uh, basketball season just around the corner. Uh, just talk about the excitement that's around the program right now getting ready for the season. I mean, we're really excited because, I mean, we've been out for six weeks, so, you know, just being back on the court, being back around my teammates and my coaches, you know, I'm excited about that and what we can do as a team because we have great potential. So I'm ex really excited. Let's look back at the fall. You guys were able to get in some games, played uh, various things. Uh, what did you learn as a now sophomore that you didn't know as a freshman getting ready for the start of this season? A lot of the things that you learn and get better on are going to be on you. Like, yeah, you can get trained in practice, you know, but outside of practice is where you make, you know, the difference. So I think that, you know, getting more gym time out of practices and, you know, all stuff like that, that's what's going to make a difference for the team. All right, what, what have you been trying to help the freshmen learn that you might have kind of wish you knew as a freshman coming in? Being mentally tough. Like, everything we do is about being mentally tough. You can be the fastest and the strongest, but if your mind isn't right, you can't get that far in this sport. And, of course, and I don't even like talking about it, but it is part of it. Uh, with COVID and everything going on right now, what has been some of the biggest challenges that you faced uh, I know you're having to take a lot of extra precautions, but how has that affected uh, you guys preparing for the season? Hmm. I mean, I guess being a lot more cautious around people we are being around, and you have to be more on your teammates about doing the right things and being around the right kind of people and just keeping their distance and wearing the mask and things like that. So. All right, and what's your personal expectations, like your, your expectations for yourself, not necessarily the team this season? 
to be a known leader and somebody that they can remember, like on down the road, like they're like, she was a great leader. And just contributing for my team on and off the court. Okay, Scarlett, uh, getting ready for the upcoming basketball season. Just talk about the, your excitement and the buzz around the team right now. I'm really excited because like, um, we've been out for so long and I'm especially just games. We haven't played a real game in I mean since last March So I'm really excited to um, get back into games and all the hype that comes with that All right, let's just talk about it. You're a sophomore now What was the biggest thing that you learned from your freshman year coming in to your sophomore year? Um, to take it one day at a time every you can't just look at the whole season and um, Say different things you got to take care of today, today. Like you gotta do your stuff at one practice at a time, one game at a time, you know, day one day at a time. And now that talks about some of the leadership now being a sophomore. Uh, what are you doing as a leader to help bring the freshmen into this? Because there's a big time difference between high school to community college. So what are you doing to help those freshmen kind of realize that? Um, I would say just encouraging them to um, have the right mindset coming into practice. Um, you can't, you can't be mentally weak, like you have to, um, just prepare your mind mentally and come in with the right attitude every day because you're not going to feel like doing it every day. Um, it's not always going to be easy. Your body's going to be tired. Your mind's going to be tired, but you just got to um, push through. So that's what I've been trying to um, encourage them in, just to push themselves even when they're tired and um, so we can all get mentally stronger together. And now, of course, again, uh, I'm going to talk about it because everybody's going to talk about it. I don't like talking about it. COVID. Um, it's a big part of the season this year. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing yourself to kind of keep yourself safe, but also help other teammates say, hey, look, this is serious. Our season depends on this. Let's stay, let's be smart and safe. Yeah, well, you gotta be responsible. Um, and I guess when you're like outside of basketball, you're thinking about personal responsibility, but when you're on the team, you have to be responsible for each other because um, we're a family. And so um, just encouraging them to like, Either, you know, just be safe who you're hanging out with, like hang out with your teammates, wear your mask, like all the way. Um, and that's what I've been trying to encourage everybody to do with myself, to mask up. All right, now for yourself, what are your expectations coming into this season? Um, I just want, I want to be a leader. I want to, um, I just want to finish strong, you know, um, give it all I got every day um, to work harder every Every, every minute of possession, every chance I get just to, um, even when I don't feel like it, to uh, just push myself and work hard. All right, Ro, season just a few weeks away from starting, man. Just talk about the excitement uh, of the team and yourself right now. Um, we're very excited. We was uh, gone to the house for a little bit. You know, we were ready to come back. Guys were ready to come back. We was excited, ready to put the work in so we can have a good season. Talk about putting that work in, man. Y'all just got out of practice. Literally walked out and came here. Yeah. Talk about how the vibe's going right now in practice. It's going good. It's, it's tough. The last few days, two days, we we just been trying to get the work in, you know, do our, everything for Coach. Everything he has to do, we're going to do it. All right, now you're a sophomore this year. Yes, sir. All right, so talk about what you learned from your first year playing ball here, coming to school here, versus where you're at now. What's the biggest thing that you've learned so far? The biggest thing I said I learned is – you can't take no days off. I mean, you gotta work every day, um, putting the work in. When you outside of practice, at practice, any any time you can put the work in, just put it in. All right, you talk about that uh, as a leader on the team now. What are you doing to help those freshmen? Because you were in the freshman shoes not too long ago, just coming from high school to uh, this collegiate level. It's a big jump. So what are you doing to try to help bring them along? Mm, I like to say just coaching them along the way. They don't get something, you know, they can come to me and ask me, or if I see something wrong, I can just point it out and tell them, you know, what they're doing wrong, or just help them along the way. And of course, one big factor is, and I don't even like talking about it, but we got to talk about it, COVID. I mean, it's here, man. It's, it's one of those, you got to be smart. Everybody's got to work together as a team to keep it, each other kind of responsible for looking out for themselves and each other. Just talk about that sense. Um, yeah, we, we, we've been trying to keep it down. You know, we got a couple guys that's out, but, um, <laughs> We've been trying to stay safe, um, wear our masks, sanitize, stay social distance and all that. All right, and then uh, just got the news about Grant uh, not being able to coach this year. Yeah. I know that's uh, a, going to be a tough blow, but at the same time, give you a little extra motivation. Uh, if you had a chance to talk to Coach Pate right now, what do you want to tell him, man? 
hey, Coach, we love you, man. We appreciate all that you have done for us, and we're going to make this season the best, and we're going to get this one for you, Coach. We got you. All right, Brandon. Season, man, it's here. It's, it's on top of you. Just talk about the excitement you got and the surrounding the team right now to get the season started. I'm very excited. I'm just ready to play, get back on the court. You know, it's been a long journey for me, especially. Um, you know, we just came back for Christmas break, so I'm just ready to get back on the court and get a couple of dubs. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about it. You just came out of practice. Got to watch you guys for a little bit, man. Y'all putting in that work. So just talk about, you know, just getting ready, like just the practice and everything. How's things going for the team? It's going good, but um, we like really out of shape right now. We're trying to like build back up our stamina and all that. But the practice is really like going good so far. Um, with our coach, we just try to contribute to our assistant coach, uh, him being the head coach now. So we're just trying to like build in and feed in on what he got going. I got you. And now let's talk about that a little bit. You know, we got the news about Grant. Uh, it's a tough blow, man. But I know you guys are going to rally and kind of just get behind him. So if you say anything to Coach Pate right now, what, what do you want to say? Coach, we're praying for you. I'm sorry it had to happen early. But we're praying for you and we love you. And we're going to make it far this year. We're going to do it all for you. I know he's going to be proud watching you guys this year. Now let's just talk about it, man. Uh, you're a sophomore this year. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest thing that you learned from your first year heading into this season? Um, don't take nothing for granted. Your spot is it's up for granted. You can't play around and practice. Everything is a business. And come and practice, work, and finish. All, all your work, you got to finish. All right. And then, you know, we asked Ro the same question I'll ask you now. You know, being a leader on this team uh, and helping those freshmen, uh, what, are, what is your advice to them or how are you help bringing them along? Because it's a big jump, man, from high school to uh, junior college ball. It's different. Well, it's really the same, but it's different, like on a totally different level. You got to calm, you got to work hard, play defense. And I, well, the freshmen look up to me because I was one of um, the lead scorer mm -hmm. last year. So the freshmen really look up to me and come ask me questions. I got them on through the way, through the practice. Hey, man, one final question before I let you go, and it's something, you know, we just got to talk about. I don't like talking about it, but COVID is part of, part of the world now. What are you guys doing as a team to stay safe and kind of hold each other responsible uh, to, uh, you know, be able to make it through the season? Um, social distancing, we um, wearing our masks, we sanitizing. We um, all here and we trying to stay together instead of going out and hanging out with our friends. And we trying to stay together so we can play this year. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your time and good luck this season. All right, thanks. Before we head to a break, I do want to remind you that due to CDC and state guidelines, attendance will be limited for all events in the Davis Event Center until further notice. So that means tickets will be limited as well as to like volleyball and basketball games. So we encourage you to visit the homepage of letsgoicc.com. That's letsgoicc.com to learn more about the attendance policies at the Davis Event Center and how you can get your hands on some of those tickets this season. Now, I could explain it here on the show, but there is a lot of important information that you need to digest. So it would just be best for you to go when you're able to check at your own convenience and have time to kind of understand and see those websites and etc. One thing that we do want to let everyone know is since it is an indoor venue, masks are required at all times, even when seated in the DEC. Now, we had a lot of great cooperation during football season, and we greatly appreciate that. And we're going to appreciate uh, all the, everyone that's going to be equally as cooperative throughout the spring because, hey, we're all doing our part to get through this together. Back with more of the ICC Hour right after this. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, 
$25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. Today tastes like game day at home. Like assigned couch seating. <laughs> tastes like coffee table dining. And an ice cold Coke to cool down the heat. It tastes like the game you've waited for all week with friends you've known your whole life. <laughs> Today tastes like watching football is supposed to. And it never tasted this good. Coca-Cola, together tastes better. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what we anticipate, what we work for, what we want to improve. At Itawamba Community College, we offer the courses, pathways, and the training that can help turn your vision of tomorrow into a reality. So why wait? Your tomorrow can start today at Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Hi, my name is Brad Crowder. I'm the Automotive Technology Instructor here at ICC. Uh, our Automotive Technology program is a two-year program. Students, upon successful completion, would uh, attain an AAS degree, or Associate of Applied Science degree. Also, uh, attain up to 18 industry-recognized credentials. Our program is nationally accredited uh, through ASC Education uh, Foundation. We're one of five programs in the state that hold that certification. Our facilities are second to none in the state. Uh, we have the latest technology, uh, we have some of the best uh, equipment, and, uh, and, and, and late model uh, vehicle trainers. So students that go through our program will attain the skills needed to be entry-level technicians. Uh, they'll learn how to diagnose, repair, and service uh, all different vehicle systems uh, on several different types uh, of vehicles, also different makes of vehicles from past to present. So the methods of delivery uh, in our training include, of course, lecture. Um, we have a lot of web-based training. Um, we have uh, several training simulators that we do training on. And ultimately, we do a, lo a lot of work on, on live vehicles, uh, such as this, uh, this new hybrid Corolla. Job potential is, is great right now. There's a shortage of technicians all across the United States. Some of the related careers are lube technician, uh, service advisors, um, automotive uh, assembly plant workers, um, even own your own business. Uh, there's, there's so many job, uh, jobs out there, careers that you could uh, potentially uh, become a part of and be extremely successful. Uh, salaries range anywhere from uh, on a lube technician, you're looking at probably around $23,000 a year uh, up to um, an experienced automotive technician would uh, earn uh, somewhere around uh, $60,000 a year uh, on average. Uh, we do have students out there now, or graduates, that have uh, gone into the industry uh, with some years of experience under their belt now, uh, earning as much as $100,000 or more per year. The type of student that we're looking for to go through this program uh, would be students that uh, honestly are willing to learn. Our, our industry is ever-changing. Uh, cars change every year with new technology. Uh, new systems that need to be uh, um, that you need to learn about and be able to diagnose and repair them uh, properly. 
Uh, we're looking for students that are good analytical thinkers, that are problem solvers, that, that love to uh, uh, love a challenge, and also that just ultimately love working with their hands. That's what, uh, what, what this is all about because 80% of our program is, is uh, taught hands-on. My name is Rayma Mika. I'm originally from North Carolina, lived in Oklahoma, uh, settling down now here in Mississippi. So I wanted to go back to school. It's been a goal of mine to go back, um, to be more independent, self-reliant, but I knew I had to go get my GED. Working in retail has been really difficult, especially as you get older. It's not a position that you want to stay in forever. So I wanted to take those steps to further my career and secure my future. So I decided to go back to school, um, get my GED so that I can have something that's more sustainable long term. Um, all my paralegal technology classes are online, so that's been really helpful as far as balancing work in home life and school life. Um, my goals for the future are to be a paralegal um, so I can have that independency. Going back to school as an adult is pretty intimidating, so she really like helped me, held my hand, um, encouraged me to keep coming back. And one of the times I hadn't been back for a long time. So she called me on the phone. She's like, where are you? We miss you, you know? And it was really encouraging to know that, you know, people really care about you. You're not just another student. So having her call me, made me come back and finish my GED courses. And then the same day that I finished, you know, I was like, okay, so what are my next steps to enrolling into college? Not really knowing if I was actually gonna follow through with it. And they just literally took me by the hand and um, helped me take all those next steps and which made it really easy. So I left there completing my GED and enrolled in classes that very same day. My advice would be just to do it because Time is passing no matter what, and you just want to go ahead and take those steps, even if you're working on one class at a time. Um, like I said, the staff was really helpful, and it makes the, the process less painful, as well as the GED courses were free, so there's no reason not to do it. You don't have anything to lose. My name is Emily Loden Jones and I am the instructor and the program director for the Forestry Technology Program at Etiwamba Community College and I have taught here for 15 years. Our students learn how to identify native hardwood species and softwood species in this area. They learn how to uh, cruise timber and evaluate it for um, selling purposes. They also learn a lot about forest management regimes that we use to get specific objectives from our land. Our program will accept students either in the fall, the beginning of the fall semester in August or in January, the start of the spring semester. This program is a two year program in which you will obtain an Associate's Applied Sciences in Forestry Technology. It's also a transferable program to Mississippi State University in the College of Forest Resources. Most of our courses are taught in a traditional format because it is so outdoor based. We have one fully online class and one hybrid class. Freshmen attend two days a week for forestry courses and sophomores attend two days a week for forestry courses. Our students usually obtain employment in either the state uh, sectors or either in private sectors. A minimum starting salary would be if you went to work for a state agency of about $30,000 a year and I would say most students would probably start around thirty-six dollars to $40,000 a year. The best type of student for this program is one that does not mind being outdoors. It is hot, it is cold sometimes. They also need to understand that this is not just an outdoor program, but is a math science heavy curriculum. Our one requirement is that you have a good pair of boots and some bug spray. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. 
Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here.